the key of David is a kingly key. Jesus did not say the key of Jesus. No, he gives it the name, the key of David. I mean, he that has the key of David. How can Jesus have the key of David? Jesus created David. No, God does not break protocol. He's assigned to his name. The first person to operate in it becomes the title holder. David was the first to operate in this key. What was it for? Opening and closing. Opening and shutting is for new opportunities. How come you are not having any new opportunity? The opportunities are the former ones. All the business you are doing, the former ones. All your contracts, the former ones. How come there's no new customer? How come there's no new idea? How come there's no new branch? Because you are not learning to operate the key of opening and shutting. To open means to create new opportunities. Number two, the apostolic key is the key of Peter. What's it for? For binding and losing. This is different from opening and closing. This one, you bind and lose. What does this do? Anything that is unrighteousness, you can use this key. If there are robbers robbing your area and you don't like what's going on, you can use this key. Number three, the prophetic key. It's called the key of Jeremiah. It is for sprouting. If you start a business and it's never able to start, you started it, but where is it? You start things, they are never able to go anywhere. Things are never able to sprout. Your hands are tied, your feet tied. The key of breaking and building is what we use for that. We break the lock. We break the chain. The world is wicked. If you don't have the dimension of the spirit, you will stay there. So you know what you're, you look at it, you see the peculiarity of the situation. Hey. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are mighty through God in the pulling down of struggles. Who is going to pull it? God is not going to do it. They are God's weapon given to you. Yes, they are mighty true God. Yes, sir. In the pulling down of strongholds. They are mighty true God. Yes, sir. Whatever you have experienced in your business, in your life, is now time to take the keys. Yes, sir. I stand with the key of David. Yes, sir. The key of Jeremiah and the key of Peter. Yes. The kingly, the apostolic, and the prophetic yes, keys. Yes. And I make it available to this house in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I receive it. A couple of Sundays ago, you led us to pray some fairy prayers. Fejiro and Nibo, all the way from GPC Abuja, was participating so much right there in Abuja. She has a brother. And this brother would always say to her and to everyone in the family, church is just a business and the Bible is just a book of fiction and stories. I don't believe any of all these things. Mm. Now, prophet, fiction. while you were leading us to pray that prayer, hey. there was a visitation for that brother. Now, she said she left service trying to reach the brother. He was not picking up the call. But by 11 p.m., the brother called her back and said, Guess what? He said, Fejiro, I believe in Jesus because today I collapsed. Prophet, he was losing breath alone in his room. Before he could be found, there was no breath in him. He was rushed to the hospital. He said he saw himself at the gate between heaven and hell. Hey. And he said he saw the Lord Jesus shining in his glory. And he said he pushed him back and he found himself back in his body. Hey! Prophet, only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. He said, Church is fiction. Fiction. The Bible is just a book of Bible stories. Is just a book Church of stories. is a business. Hey. That was his old confession. When he died, then he knew that church is not a My God. My God. The brother quickly said, now nah, I believe in Jesus. Because when he met with the situation, how will a man feel the day you die? You now see that day, say heaven, you see heaven, see hell. I want to go back, no way back. How do you change? Somebody one more time, lift up your hand. Say, Lord, I commit myself. Lord, I commit myself. My body, my body, my soul, my soul, my spirit, my spirit to follow you. To follow Say we give you glory for all that you have done, Jesus. Ah, words are not enough to say thank you, but I come back to say thank you. I'm the one who came back to say thank you for keeping me, for preserving me.
I said, this six months, you are taking your steps into rest. Amen. Amen. Whatever will not re let you rest hey. today, hey. it will be terminated in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You don't want to miss this exciting time of revival in the presence of the Lord this Sunday at Gospel Pillars International Church, Plot 11C, Kudrat Abiolawi, Alausa Ikeja, Lagos, by 8.30 a.m. prompt. For more information, please call our 24 hours call center plus 23490 God bless you.